our internet. Um, right, I warn you now, this is going to be a talking head waffle video. So uh, if you've got this far and you're going to click off, thanks for joining and um, we'll see you in the next one. Anybody that stayed with me, let me explain a few things. So, as you know, a bulk of the channel's content used to be the S3 and the A3 convertible, the white one. Um, because I work from home a lot and we don't need two cars, we decided last year to get rid of both cars and get one car. Um, the criteria was something a bit newer. Um, also something that uh, is a little bit of a cruiser. Excuse me. A little bit of a cruiser. Something that's going to take us up and down the country in pretty much comfort. Um, and another criteria of mine is it would have to be almost as much fun, if not as much fun, as the S3. So what we ended up with, as you know, is a 435D. Now, for those that don't understand all the letters, and I'm not going to go into the F23 and whatever, all the other stuff, because that, that confuses me. But for those that don't understand the full range, so it's a full series, obviously 435. The 35 actually means 3 litre. Now, you'd think it means 3.5 litre, but it doesn't. It means 3 litre twin turbo. So it's got what they think they call a twin scroll turbo. So a small one to give you the low down front, a bigger one for when you're up top. Um, the result is pretty good, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it's mated to a eight-speed automatic gearbox, which you can put in Tiptronic. It's got the flappy paddles. It's got all that. Very rarely use it, and it's got loads of function modes as well, from eco mode to comfort, which it stays in most of the time, uh, to sport and sport plus. Sport plus will give you well a bit of a lunatic mode, to be honest. Um, if you're not getting to Tiptronic only and put it in sport plus. You can basically use launch control, you can um, disable all the traction control, everything. It's not advisable to go into that mode if you're asleep. Or well, not paying attention to your say. Shouldn't be asleep at the wheel. Um, so, the car itself. I've had it over six months now. And let me just go through what I think of it. So, first of all, is it as much fun as the S3? Um, yes and no. It's different. The S3 was a lunatic, um, with all the manual changing gears and everything else. It gave you that impression that it was going like stick. Um, but obviously when you're changing in a manual, you've got all this head-butting stuff going on all the time. Wife well, didn't like that. But this one has got more torque, and uh, not so much horsepower, but because it's mated to a Tintronic, um, it you haven't got the change in gear. So it is as quick, if not a bit quicker than the S3. So tick, box done. Um, is it as fun to drive? Um, you can't chuck it about so much, but it is a four wheel drive um, and it does hold the road very well. So yes, you can throw it about for a big car, it will throw about um, and for a big car, it will move. So it takes that box too. Um, when I was looking at cars, I started looking at the two litres. Um, and they really didn't take any of the boxes. Always been a bit of an Audi person, although we did have a 320D years ago, um, which I liked. Good car, again, automatic. Um, the S3 was a car I've always sort of hankered after. Uh, Love the car and pampered it, as you can tell from the channel. It, it was my little baby. Um, and it took a lot to get rid of it, but it made sense to get rid of it too. Now, we've done a few travels in this, we've done a few miles in this as well, we've got a few coming up. To drive, it is so relaxing. Um, the seats are great, uh, they're bolstered because it's uh, the Grand Cooper and it's got all the M pack on it. Um, they're heated. Um, everything about it is just where you want it. Um, and the fact with the Audis, the newer Audis anyway, it wasn't as familiar as the older ones. They moved the console around a bit uh, to give you cut holes at the front because there always been a problem at the back. And there was just a few things that I got in it that just didn't didn't feel 
right. And you, you must know what I mean. When you buy a car and you test drive so one of them will feel right. That's the one you buy. So we went looking at every single thing. Decided that I wanted an SQ5. Again, for the performance, it's an Audi. A bit higher up in, in respect to the ground for the wife to get in and out. Um, it was a good car, don't get me wrong, great car. But it just didn't do it. It just didn't do it for me. It was quick enough, but it just didn't do it for me. And I don't know why. I just don't know why. Um, so we drove some newer A3s. Uh, and a friend of mine, um, I drove his newer S3. But again, just didn't do it like it did with my S3. Um, we drove uh, the 5 Series, the, the A5. Uh, even the sporty ones, the RS, and stuff like that. And again, very nice, but just wasn't right. And it's really bizarre. We went looking for another Audi at the garage we bought this from, and that was Artis in Peterborough. Great place to go if you need a car. Simon's a brilliant guy. Doesn't push you. Very generous. Just very laid back. Great guy. Um, so we went to drive another one, and then the wife saw this. Now, when you look at this on a sunny day, it looks dark blue. She went, oh, that's a really unusual colour. I really like that. I went, yeah, I'm with you there. And then... Look round the back and it went, oh, it's the 35D. Mm. So I knew it was fast. So anyway, we got the keys and we went out for a test drive. And instantly, it put a smile on my face. And the other cars weren't doing that. Um, and one of the reasons it does put a smile on your face, I will quickly demonstrate. really well and it's, uh, really well. And it's not all about the speed don't get me wrong um, it's nice to have it's nice to get out of situations when you can put your foot down and, it, and off it goes um, it's really nice <laughs> but it's not the only thing that sells a car to me um, everything on this felt right every control felt right in the right place uh, the infotainment screen I said I didn't want a bolt-on looking entertainment, infotainment screen TV. Um, this one has kind of got that, but it doesn't look like it's an afterthought. It looks like it's supposed to be there. And it's very intuitive. The iDrive, again, used to that from the uh, 320D. And, uh, yeah, just felt everything's where it should be. You don't have to go through 20 different menus to find where stuff is. Oh, this road's rough. Um, so, yeah. There is more content to come. The one thing I want to do is, of course, the launch to 60. Uh, there is launch control on it. I haven't ever used it, so I'll have to learn how to use it. But I want to do a launch to 60. Now, my son has got the 335D um, GT, and I believe he's got his at around 4.85 seconds. So that's what I'm looking towards. But again, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, but it'd be nice to do it anyway. Anyway, I've not much to say about it. Nothing's gone wrong with the car. Nothing's caused me any concerns. It does about 35 to the gallon on an average run. Uh, that's 35 now. So most of the time, you sit there at 35, occasionally 40 on a long run. So it's it's good on fuel, which it, again ticks the box. But again, owning the S3 wasn't the most important thing to me. Uh, doesn't use a spot of oil. Maintenance costs, even when you go to BMW, pretty good to be honest. Um, tires are the more expensive than the S3. Everything is comparable really to the S3. And because we've gone down in one car, we've saved on insurance, tax, equities, everything else. So it kind of makes sense. So that is where I'm going to leave it. Definitely, I'm not going to waffle anymore because you've had enough of me. This must be a good fifteen at least. Uh, again, if you want to see content on the car, if you want to ask questions in the comments, please do so. Um, uh, I'll answer what I can. I know I've done content with doing dash cams on both cars, on my son's and this one. Um, so why are those in already? But I haven't done anything else yet. Now, I do intend to do my own servicing, so that will come. Uh, and again, I've done some detailing on it, some washing and polishing, some machine polishing. Uh, I didn't capture that because, well, 
do you, is that content you want? Probably not. But uh, she's got a good shine to her, put it that way. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Sorry it's awful. Um, like, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff that uh, people like to do. Um, <laughs> and again, we'll build the channel up together. I do apologise to the people that have wanted to have more Audi content. But life moves on, and I had to move on as well. We needed just the one car, and this is what we've ended up with. So all the BMW fanboys out there, hopefully, let's do some content for you guys. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you later. Cheers all. Bye-bye. We stop recording. <laughs> we'll see.